sustainability and the environment is big, you know, within Student Voice and, and, and we have uh, not only students wanting to learn more about that in EPQ, but it's, it's a big topic that we try and promote. I think it's an important area that will we'll stand them in good stead. I would like to see more students uh, learning about climate change and sustainability and I feel that one of the ways in which we as a school have tried to do that is by introducing the higher project qualification as a new qualification within the school and guiding all students to adopting a climate change or sustainability focus. The main reason I chose climate change and sustainability for my EPQ was mainly the interactions between indigenous communities. I found an interest in the way that indigenous communities had been impacted. So the main thing that I really wanted to investigate was how governments and other NGOs, what their role was really to play and if they actually impacted positively or negatively with the indigenous tribes. Some things I found interesting in my research was about the natural phenomenon which like cause climate change which isn't done by humans, like eccentricity which like the way that the world spins around the sun and also like axle tilt which is the way it's tilted and how these affect climate change over years. I think it's really important for students to learn about climate change and sustainability because it's become one of the most important topics of our generation and for everyone to understand what the true meaning of sustainability is will actually form what we do in the future and how we can truly tackle climate change effectively. There's a lot of interest in climate change and sustainability, I would say particularly over the last five or six years, students have always uh, shown an interest and the desire to understand why it's happening and where the world is going. And particularly, I think this generation, they're desperate to try and make a change as well. 